Hello, mga enthusiast! Sa nakaraang video ay idiniscuss natin ang dalawang unang paraan kung paano sinasolve ang quadratic equations. Ito ay ang extracting the square roots and the factoring. Ngayon naman, ang idiniscuss natin ay ang completing the square. Marami ang nahihirapan at nalilito sa procedure na ito, pero sa video na ito, susubukan natin i-explain ito sa pinakamadaling paraan upang mas mabilis ninyong maintindihan. Kaya, tara na! So, let's start with the first given. b squared plus 5b minus 6 equals 0. So, ang una natin gagawin ay ilipat natin tong third term or yung constant term dito sa kabila. So, ang matitira dito will be b squared plus 5b. Since completing the square tayo, magkakaroon tayo ng blank dito. So, plus blank equals 2. From negative 6, magiging positive 6 na siya, plus blank. So, kung ano yung i-add nyo dito sa side na to, dapat i-add nyo rin siya dito para maging equal sila. Now, paano ba natin kinukuha yung third term? O, tandaan ninyo ang formula. Ang formula ay b over 2 and then you square it. So, etong b, it stands for... The numerical coefficient of the second term. Ito daw yung number na katabi ng variable sa second term. So, ano ba dito ang ating second term? Ito. So, obviously, our b or the value of b is 5. So, this will be equal to 5 over 2 kasi i-divide siya and then square. Square mo siya. So, what is 5 times 5? We have 25. And then, 2 times 2, we have 4. So, our third term will be 25 over 4. So, 25 over 4. Ia-add mo din siya dito sa kabila. 25 over 4. Para patas sila. Okay, now, eto perfect square trinomial na siya or PST. Now, meron tayong technique kung paano kunin ang factors ng PST. So, you just have to write yung dalawang parenthesis dyan. And then, you get the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. So, the square root of the first term is B. So, B yan. Pareho lang ang factors nito. Now, the square root of 25 is a 5, and then the square root of 4 is 2, and then we have here 5 and 2. Since our third term is positive, ibig sabihin dalawa siya, o yung sign niya ay pareho kasi positive siya. So, since ang middle term naman natin ay positive, ni-indicate niya na ang ating mga sign sa dalawang factors ay parehong positive. Now, equals to... This one, 6 plus 25 over 4. Since ito ay fraction at ito ay whole number, we know that the denominator of a whole number is always 1. So, ang denominator na ay 1. Kunin natin ang LCD ng 1 at 4. So, we have here 4. 4 divided by 1, we have 4 times 6, 24. Plus 25. Okay, kaya simple lang. Kung isa ay whole number, i-multiply mo lang siya dun sa denominator. Tapos yung denominator, yun yung magiging denominator nilang dalawa. Para lang mas madali. For example, meron kang 2 plus 5 over 6. Ganyan. So, denominator niya 6. And then, 6 times 2, 12 plus 5. Para din na hassle na magsusulat ka pa ng 1, tapos magdi-divide, tapos magda-times. So, pwede na siyang shortcut. Sa pangang shortcut, so 3 plus 4 over 5. O, ano yan? Multiply mo lang siya dyan. 15 plus 4 over 5. O, pwede ka nang mag-add. Uh, Simple yung shortcut lang yan. So, let's go back here. Aha, pwede na natin silang pagsamahin para makagamit tayo ng power of 2. So, 5 plus, ay sorry, B plus 5 over 2. So, combined na siya, equals to 24 plus 25 is 49 over 4. O, ayan na, familiar na kayo sa ganyan, di ba? 
So, extracting the square roots na siya. So, ganyan. And then, this one. Cancel. B plus 5 over 2 is equal to positive, negative, what's this? 7 over 2. So, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng dalawang solution dyan. Isang for positive 7 over 2 at isang negative 7 over 2. So, let's try. B plus 5 over 2 is equal to 7 over 2. Yan yung sa positive. Tapos, meron tayong B plus 5 over 2 is equal to negative 7 over 2. Now, let's manipulate. Ito, ililipat doon. So, magiging B plus, ay sorry, B equals 7 over 2 minus 5 over 2. Kasi from positive, magiging negative. So, magiging B is equal to same denominator. So, subtract lang siya. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay. And then, 2 divided by 2 is? 1. So, our first value is 1. Now, dito naman, we have B is equal to, lipat ulit siya doon, negative 7 over 2 minus 5 over 2. So, our B will be equal to negative 12 over 2. So, negative 12 over 2 is B equals to negative 6. So, the values that will satisfy okay, the quadratic equation is 1 and negative 6. Now, let's check kung tama ba yung sagot natin. Let's try. So, we have here B squared. What's the given? Plus 5B. Minus 6 equals 0. Sige nga, ito, ilagay natin dito sa equation. We have 1 squared plus 5 times 1 minus 6 equals ba siya kay 0? So, I'll have here 1 plus, sorry, 1 plus 5, kasi 5 times 1 is 5, minus 6 equals 0. Equal ba sila? So, we have 1 plus 5 is 6 minus 6 equals 0. 6 minus 6, question mark, 0 is equal to 0. So, yung value natin na 1 kay B ay tama. Now, let's try naman pag negative 6 ang value. So, B squared, B squared plus 5B minus 6 equals 0. So, negative 6. Squared plus 5 times negative 6 minus 6 equals ba siya kay 0? So, this is 36 plus negative 30 minus 6 equals 0. Equal nga ba? So, 36 plus negative 30 is 6 minus 6 equals ba siya kay 0? So, obviously, 0 is equal to 0. Check. So, the values is really or are really 1 and negative 6. Galing. Okay, next example. Z squared plus 2Z equals 15. Ito mas madali ito kaysa doon sa example mamaya. Intayin nyo kung paano isasolve yun. Since ito naman, nasa kabila na or nakahiwalay na yung constant term natin, mas mabilis na lang natin siyang gagawin. So, we have now here, z squared plus 2z Ano nilalagay natin? Plus blank equals to 15 plus blank. So, kung ano yung i-add natin dito, i-add din natin sa kabila. So, ano kaya yung magiging third term natin? So, ang formula natin ay B over 2 squared. So, equals ngayon siya, since ang, ang B natin ay 2. So, 2 over 2 squared. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. I-square mo siya, 1 pa rin siya. So, here we will have 1. 
And here we also have 1. So, now we can factor. Diba? Sabi ko, ang technique, kunin lang ang square root ng first term at yung square root ng last term. So, we have here now z and then z. Ang square root ng 1 is 1, 1. Positive to, so dapat pareho ang sign. Pero since positive ang middle term, positive, positive na siya. Is equal to 15 plus 1, 16. And then we combine this one, we will have c plus 1 squared is equal to 16. See? Ang bilis na. So we get the square root. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So, z plus 1 equals to positive negative 4. Square root of 16 is 4. Now, meron ulit tayong dalawang solution. So, z plus 1 equals 4 yung una. And then, z plus 1 is equal to negative 4. Okay, manipulating this equation, you will have here z is equal to 4 minus 1 kasi positive magiging negative. So, z is equal to 3. Here naman, you will have z is equal to negative 4 minus 1. So, z is equal to negative 5. So, the values that will satisfy the equation is z equals 3 and z equals to negative 5. That's it. Okay, let's have the last example. 2a squared plus 2a equals 24. For kanina na mention ko na yung susunod natin o yung last natin given ay medyo mahirap pero hindi totoo. Uh, medyo komplikado lang siya ng onte pero hindi rin komplikado or medyo kakaiba lang siya sa nauna nating given. Kasi dito, kung mapapansin nyo, ang value ng ating leading coefficient ay 2. Mas mataas siya kesa kay 1. Hindi katulad dun sa una nating example, ang leading coefficient natin or ang value ng a natin ay 1. Dito, hindi. So, now, ang gagawin natin, since ito naman ay divisible by 2, pwede natin siya i-divide by 2. Sige, pakita ko. So, magiging, ano na lang to, a squared plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, you have your a equals to, ayan, 12. Since ito na ngayon, itong ating coefficient na to, or itong constant natin ay nakahiwalay na, kailangan na lang natin gawin yung completing the square. a squared plus a plus blank equals to 12 plus blank. Okay, huwag kalimutan kung nag-add ka dito, mag-add ka din dito sa kabila. So now, for the value of the third term, we have here b over 2 squared. So here, the coefficient... Sorry, the coefficient of the middle term is 1. So, you will have here 1 over 2. And then, i-square mo siya. Equals to 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. So, 1 fourth. Fraction pa rin tong nakuha natin dito. So, 1 fourth dito. 1 fourth ulit dito. So, now, PST na siya. Perfect square trinomial na siya. So, ang procedure, kunin ang square root ng first term, kunin ang square root ng last term para sa factors. So, square root of a squared is a, a, and then we have here, square root ng 1 is 1, square root ng 4 is 2. So, also here, 1 and then 2. And then, since ito ay positive, pareho sila, pero dahil ito ay positive din, so parehong positive. Equals to, o oh, yung shortcut kanina, magiging denominator na lang nila ay 4. 4 times 12 is 48 plus 1. Okay, pagsamay natin, a plus 1 half and then squared. And then 48 plus 1 is 49 over 4. Now, square root, square root. So, we'll have here a 
plus 1 half equals to positive, negative, anong square root ng 49? 7. Square root ng 4 is 2. Now, meron ulit tayong dalawang solution. A plus 1 half is equal to 7 over 2, yung una. And then, we have A plus 1 half equals to negative 7 over 2. So, manipulating this, lipat doon, A is equal to 7 over 2 minus 1 over 2. So, that is 6 over 2. Okay? Dahil similar sila, pwede na natin isubtract. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. Pareho lang sila dito. So, 2. So, 6 over 2 is 3. So, the first value is 3. Now, dito naman, so we have A is equal to negative 7 over 2 minus 1 half. So, A is equal to, since similar, pwede ng direct over 2. Negative 7 minus 1, so negative 8. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. So, the values are 3 and negative 4. So, that's it, guys. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, don't forget to hit like, share, and click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Bye, Matsusiast!